Okay, moving on from our checking out the different libraries and attributes, I'm going to turn those off to where I'm seeing um, my big group. And ordinarily, you organize your photos by folders, and my folders are organized by date. Um, but you can have extra collections that contain the pictures, but not actually copy or duplicate the file. Uh, it's a way of organizing, uh, similar to the way you can search for a keyword and view only those pictures that have that keyword. We can also have a grouping of photos that are um, a collection of sorts. So let's take a look at some of these. I'm going to jump over to this one here and we see that we have a um, boardwalk here and this is like a, next to uh, some water in um, at the beach and there are several pictures of some birds, right? And birds may be considered animals, right? You might have an animals category here. Um, here's some more beach ones, right? And you could also say, hey, I, ha I want to use a group for buildings or skies or whatever you're trying to get together. If you have a particular presentation you're um, setting up, or in many cases, do you have a set of students' work and you want to make them into a collection, getting them ready for a set. In other words, they have lots of work to choose from and you need to narrow it down. Well, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do some work with um, a, a idea called buildings. All right, so I'm going to take this one here and this one here. So I'm going to control click both of those. And over here on the right, I'm going to collapse my folders and I'm going to collapse my navigator and I'm going to go ahead and bring out my collections. Now, what I want to do is create a new collection. Now, if I have some selected, I'll go ahead and say create collection. And this collection is going to be called uh, buildings. All right. And I'm going to tell it to include selected photos. And I'm not going to make new virtual copies or set as a target collection. Um, I'm just going to hit create. So now I have this collection called buildings. And uh, if you're familiar with the way collections work, in uh, Bridge, this is very similar. So what I'm going to do here is go back to my uh, catalog and view all photographs. And then what I want to do is see if I can um, scroll down and grab some other buildings here. So here's some other buildings, right? And we'll take some of these buildings here and I'm just going to uh, shift click them. It looks like several of these were from an HDR exposure. And I can take all of those and I'm going to click in the um, picture here and I'm going to drag them into my buildings collection. So now if I go over to my buildings collection, it's kind of like having a folder of all those pictures. And you can see they're all inside there. Now you can also create this thing called a smart collection. All right. And so if you create a new smart collection, I'm going to say create new smart collection. I'm going to create a smart collection called smart buildings. All right. And um, what I want to do is see if I can put anyone that has the word buildings on it. So I'm going to see, um, let's see here, we're going to do a keyword contains, oops, let me type down there, building, and let's hit create. Now it says no photos in the smart collection. In other words, it looked through all my photographs, every one of them, and it couldn't find any that had the uh, building's name to it. So I'm going to jump back to my all photographs here and I'm just going to see if I can create some keywords for some of these here. So I'm going to jump down and get some of these buildings here. So I'm going to grab 67, 68, those ones there, and I'm going to put in building. And so now those ones should be marked as building. 
Now what I want you to do is look over here where it says Smart Buildings 2. What it's done is it's gone ahead and placed those two into that collection so that any uh, file that has that building keyword will come up with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these other ones in. I'm going to go down further this time. Select them all. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to say keyword building. Now look at them. Smart building 73. Let's get some more. So you'd put people's names in. All right. And building. So now, anytime I create a, a file that has the keyword building, it's going to go into my smart collection of buildings. So this is a great way to organize things like um, uh, stock images you use in class or um, images that um, you want to organize by student. You can have a collection for any file that has Johnny's name on it. It'll just show up in Johnny's folder. And you don't have to import them multiple times. You don't have to move the files and folders anywhere. They just appear where they go. That's the feature that you really want to get used to using with this smart collection. Now, as you start to get a lot of these, you can create collection sets. And what you can do is create a collection set. And you could have a collection set that is um, stock images or in your case maybe you would put your class okay so if you had a class of students um, you could have you know first period and all their um, documents then show up inside and so I'm gonna take smart buildings here and I'm gonna put it into my stock images because that's where it should be all right um, while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a new uh, smart collection and this one's going to be called um, clouds or you know what smart clouds that sounds better all right and it's going to be inside the stock images select um, set and we're going to go down to where it says building we're going to have anything that's marked clouds all right and create and no photos right now, no big deal. We'll go back to all of our photos and we'll start getting some of those clouds. Um, I like these ones here. These ones look like great clouds. We'll go ahead and get several of these. And I'll go ahead and add the keyword to them called clouds. I don't have that one yet, so we'll do clouds. And now we should have some in our smart clouds. There's some more clouds. We'll get these ones in. And you see I started typing. You could type or you could go and bring up your clouds here and that'll do it too. And anyway, so that's the way to bring up uh, some collections. You can use regular collections if you're organizing quickly and very specifically. If you want to just generally get groups of items together, you can bring up the smart collections and it'll find all your pictures for you.